You know, it's not uncommon to see baboons roaming around in Africa, but in Winnemac, believe it or not, 16 li live there and more are on the way. Yeah, they're at a brand new primate sanctuary. WSBT 22's Kristen Dean got a first-hand look at who is caring for these animals and what they're doing here. An estimated 6,000 baboons are being used in research laboratories right now. They're also used in the entertainment industry and as pets. But when the research is done or the baboons get too large and dangerous for their private owners, the options are often one, terrible conditions, or two, death. Now there's a third option. This is what I wanted to do, and this was, this was my calling. Scott Kubish has spent the past 17 years dreaming up this place, a retirement community for baboons. So that they can just live out their lives in a nice place, and that's what I'm able to do. And now he's living his dream. So this is Elsa and Olivia. Olivia. This is the peaceable primate sanctuary in Winnemac, the only baboon facility in the country. It houses 16 baboons. They all have their own little quirks and little things that they do, and that's what makes them special. Some come from research laboratories, some were kept as pets. All of them were born in captivity. They would not be able to survive in the wild. They would, would definitely, uh, you know, be picked off by a predator or would starve to death. So this is the safest environment and a better environment for them to be in. They spend their time inside in these series of cages and they have access to outside enclosures. Not only that, but the sanctuary just opened a brand new one acre outdoor enclosure so they can live more like wild baboons. He's never gone up on one of those culverts, ever. Kubish believes this sanctuary allows these baboons to live a better life. It's not the best, but it's, it's the best that we can do in a captive situation. Most of the baboons here live in troops. This is Jerry's troop. Jerry is the boss. Um, he is um, the dominant male. Jerry came from a research lab. He spent his whole life in a cage like this. Now he spends his time with other baboons, including Elsa and Olivia, precocious four-year-olds. They were taken from their mothers when they were a week old and sold into the pet trade. Baboons easily spend the first four years with their mothers constantly. So when you take a primate away from its mother at seven and eight days old, um, they just never learn the skills that they need to, to to be a baboon. They've been adjusting to life in the sanctuary and are starting to live and act like baboons. Sadly, not all baboons are able to adjust fully to life after rescue. So this is Babbles. Um, we call her Miss B. She is our oldest resident that we have here. She uh, just had her 31st birthday. So for a baboon, she's getting up in her years. Babbles was a pet. Her owner got her when she was very young. And she craves human attention. She doesn't really know how to socialize with other baboons. And that can be a problem. She either attacks them or she is attacked. Babbles cannot be with people either. It's too dangerous. It's hard. It's tough. Um, there's a, a lot of nights where I get very upset seeing Babbles um, in this situation because I want to do better by her, um, but I just can't. There is nothing else that I can do for her. Still, Babbles is happy. He so is that, so that's sweet. Lip smacking. And what does that mean, Scott? Um, that mean, that's her way of saying hello, that she likes me. But Kubish says Babbles is a reminder for the world that baboons are not pets. People look at them when they're babies, and yes, they're very cute and adorable, and everybody thinks I can give them a good life, but you have to look of what they're ultimately going to become, which is a full-grown baboon that has very sharp teeth and doesn't want to be in a house. Kubish hopes to take on even more primates in the near future. Just to see them and to see them have this retirement, it makes all, all the troubles that we've had worthwhile. Kubish hopes to add more baboons. In fact, they're building enclosures for a new species of primates in the next few months. Facilities like this are inspected at least once a year by the USDA, which looks at things like cleanliness, food, and enrichment for the animals. It's been inspected twice since it opened last year with no issues found. Check out its website and learn how to donate. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.